everyone. Good day, grade 8 BIS learners who are watching now. I am your science teacher, Ma'am Winnie Kayana. Be excited as we learn a new knowledge in the world of science. As we discuss about concept of species. Wow! We are now on quarter four, week five, and the most essential learning competency is to explain the concept of a species. Are you ready now for today's lesson? But before I introduce you to our topic, let's have a short review of our previous lesson, which is about Phenotypic expressions of traits following simple patterns of inheritance. We're in, we're able to explain or define some important terms like a unit of heredity, the functional units of chromosomes that determine specific characteristics by coding for specific proteins. And the difference between genotype and phenotype. The genotype is an organism's genetic information, like homozygous dominant, which is represented by two capital B, heterozygous, one capital B and small b, homozygous recessive, two small b, while the phenotype is the set of observable physical traits like purple, purple, and white. Now, we are done with our review. And to test your prior knowledge in today's lesson, let's try to answer the quizzes. What am I? Directions Identify the organisms being referred to in the following riddles. Supply the missing letters in each riddle. Number one, I live in the sea. I love to swim. I am the biggest of them all. I am a mammal like you. What am I? I am whale. Number two, I am a bird, but I cannot fly. My body is too heavy to curry. I lay the biggest eggs. What am I? I am Ostrich Number 3 My home is the sea I look like a star My skin is spiny What am I? I am Starfish Number 4 My home is wet soil My body is segmented My best friends are farmers What am I? I am Last number, number 5 I have 10 legs and a shell I am your favorite food I am reddish when cooked What am I? I am Crap Well done! 
I hope that we will able to achieve our objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, you expected to Number 1. Define biodiversity. Number 2. Explain the concepts of species. And number 3. Identify the importance of naming and classifying organisms. Biodiversity refers to vast array of life forms. It is coined from the words biological and diversity. Usually, scientists would refer to three levels of biodiversity. The three levels of biodiversity are species diversity, genetic diversity, and community or ecosystem diversity. Species diversity, it comprises the large number and all different kinds, shapes, colors, and sizes of organisms that inhabit the earth. It also includes the smallest and the simplest bacterium to the complex, bigger, brightly colored flower or fish. Add to this the carabao, the coconut tree, the biggest elephant, and a human like you. At present, more than a million organisms have been identified and named, while many more are being discovered every year. Recently, and local researchers have found that the diversity of reptiles and amphibians in the northern Philippines is even greater than known and identified. Genetic Diversity it refers to the variety of genes or inheritable characteristics present in a population. Genetic diversity example includes the different breeds of dogs, the different varieties of rose flower, the assorted colors of kernels in different varieties of corn are a result of genetic diversity and a person's skin color, hair color, dimples, freckles, and blood type are all examples of genetic variations that can occur in a human population. Ecosystem diversity. It refers to the different types of places where organisms live and the interconnections that bind these organisms together. Sub ecosystem diversity includes grassland, tundra, desert. Forest. In your daily life, you see many different kinds of organisms. Each distinct kind of organism like cat, dog, bird, mango, or butterfly is called a species. Species? is a group of living organisms capable of interbreeding naturally. That is, they only interbreed with their own kind. Taxonomy is the branch of biology that names and classifies species and groups them into broader categories. Linnaeus, 
develop the binomial system of naming organisms using physical characteristics to distinguish over 11,000 species. Wow! The different species concept. Typological species concept. Scientists like Aristotle and Linnaeus thought that organisms belonging to the same species are distinctly similar in appearance. Later on, succeeding scientists discovered that this was not always the case. Some may appear very different yet belong to the same species since organisms can change over time in a process called evolution. Biological Species Concept This concept invokes that organisms belong to the same species if they can interbreed with one another to form fertile offspring. For example, some birds may be very similar in appearance but are incapable of interbreeding because they are not the same species. Others may vary in appearance but can interbreed and therefore belong to the same species. Phylogenetic Species Concept This concept considers species as a group of organisms that come from a common ancestor. It is based on evolutionary relationships and relies on common ancestry and the species shared evolutionary history. If the organisms belong to the same species, they must show common ancestry and be distinct from other groups. Species Genetic Concept This is a concept proposed by most geneticists who consider genetic similarity as the basis for belonging to the same species. Genetic analysis can uncover species that morphologically cannot be uncovered just by looking at their physical characteristics. It's activity time! Level me! Identify which level of diversity. Ecosystem, species, genetic, does each of the photos represent? Number one, species diversity. Number two, ecosystem diversity. Number three, Ecosystem Diversity Number 4 Genetic Diversity And number 5 Species Diversity What I can do Let's name it! Directions Create an alphabet of biodiversity using the letters of your first name by giving an organism that starts with a specific letter. It would be much better if the organism is found locally in your community. You can also use your local dialect if there is no English name available for such an organism. Then, describe how each organism is being used 
and point out its role in the ecosystem. Example 1. J for jellyfish, U for archin, A for ants, and letter N for naradri. Jellyfish serves as food for other large sea creatures and provides habitat for young fishes when there are not many places to hide. Wow! Urchin or sea urchin is a good source of protein. They help reduce microalgae cover on corals and aids in restoring reefs. Ants help control other insects fertilize plants, and help in pollination. Nara tree provides shade, air, timber, or wood. Well, that's all for today, Grade 8 learners. We are finally done with our discussion. So I guess you are now ready to take the quiz. Can you prepare any sheet of paper for our evaluation? Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. For question number one, biodiversity is a short term for blank. Letter A, biological diversion. Letter B, biological diversion. Letter C, Biological Diversity or Letter D, Biological Diverting. The correct answer is Letter C, Biological Diversity. Question number 2. Biodiversity is the variety of land in a given area. Letter A, Communities Letter B Genes Letter C Species Or Letter D Organisms The correct answer is Letter C Species Question number 3 What are the three types of biodiversity? Letter A, genes, cells, traits. Letter B, species, genetic, ecosystem. Letter C, mutation, disorder, regression. Or letter D, organ, organ system, organism. The correct answer is letter B. Species, Genetic, Ecosystem wow! Question number 4 Which is not a benefit of biodiversity? Letter A. Agriculture Letter B. Deforestation Letter C. Ecotourism Or Letter D. Medicine the correct answer is Letter B, Deforestation Last question for number 5 How will increasing species diversity affect the ecosystem? Letter A, it increases the efficiency and productivity of an ecosystem Letter B, it increases only the efficiency and not productivity of an ecosystem. Letter C. It does not increase the efficiency and productivity of an ecosystem. Letter D. It only increases the productivity of an ecosystem. The correct answer is Letter A. It increases the efficiency and productivity of an ecosystem. Wow! Thank you so 
much for watching and see you at next session. Again, I am Ma'am Winnie Kayana, your science teacher, saying, Biodiversity also provides us with a community of life, with which we share planet Earth and the opportunity to practice total stewardship. God bless everyone!